She's on a warning for the rest of the week. I withdraw and apologise. Right, we'll go back to question number nine, Marama Davidson. To the Minister for Social Development, is she concerned that the over 340,000 hardship grants provided by MSD in the September 2018 quarter indicate baseline, baseline benefits are insufficient to meet housing and food costs? The Honourable Carmel Cipollone. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, I'm concerned and I'm also relieved that we have a more responsible MSD culture. That means those requiring help are getting it. Mr Speaker, I think it's very important to note that the evidence available to us clearly identifies the cost of housing as the key reason why so many New Zealanders require access to hardship grants. And Mr Speaker, thankfully, unlike the previous government, this government is making housing a priority. Fehili Fakao Popo, does she think that the significant increase in hardship grants, almost doubling over the past five years, demonstrates beneficiaries are falling further and further behind? Order. Mr. Grant, Speaker. Grant Robertson, please be quiet. Mr. Speaker, um, as previously noted, it's really important uh, that we emphasise the fact that all of the evidence supports the fact that hardship grants have been increasing over the last five years due to the increase in cost of housing, Mr. Speaker. Um, with regards to uh, income adequacy, it's also important to note that this government has committed to undertaking a welfare overhaul, and as part of that, we have appointed an expert advisory group for welfare, uh, and part of the terms of reference is to look at seriously income adequacy. Fihili Whakaopopo, should baseline benefits be enough to ensure everyone has decent housing and enough food for their families? Mr Speaker, uh, as I have said, uh, income adequacy is something that has been looked at as part of the expert uh, welfare advisory group's work. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, although we are seriously looking at income adequacy and look forward to the recommendations and report back from the expert advisory group, we cannot ignore uh, that something needs to be done about housing. And Mr Speaker, I'm very glad to be part of a government that has made uh, housing a priority because, Mr Speaker, the very families uh, that the MP is asking about are reliant on us making sure that we make housing affordable. Does she agree we have a responsibility to ensure everyone in our country has a decent standard of living and that the number of people needing food grants or borrowing to cover the basics shows that we're not living up to this responsibility? Mr Speaker, um, I'm highly concerned that there has been a trend upwards for the last five years of New Zealanders having to access hardship grants. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm committed as the Minister and our government is committed to making sure that we have a fairer, more accessible welfare system. I'm looking forward to the report that we will receive from the expert advisory group in February and I'm looking forward to the positive changes that I know that this government is capable of making. Question number 10, the Honourable Louise Upston. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question...